Is it easy to travel along USA? Any racism or robbers? How is tipping culture like? MIC must do and must eat. In total, we spend about. Hi guys, so it's Rachel and Isaac here again, and we are gonna answer you guys' question on the US trip. So maybe we just start with like the itinerary or so to tell them where we actually went. So we flew from Singapore to JFK, then from JFK we were supposed to fly to San Fran immediately, but then we missed our flight. So we had to stay at JFK Airport for one night, which burns a lot of money. You can watch our video. Yes, to find out how that went. Yeah, then after that we we, we flew to the next flight to San Francisco, and then we took a car, and then we drove down Route One, which is Big Sur and all that. Then we went to Santa Barbara, where we stayed with our friend Denise for like 3 days then we went to Joshua Tree and when we were at Joshua Tree we stayed there for 2 days mm. and then we went from Joshua Tree to LA, to LA and then uh, we stayed in LA for 3 days and we flew up to JFK again and stayed we stayed in, in uh, Cousin's house for another 6 days and then yeah. we flew back to Singapore that is the fastest I've ever spoken I know right I was like wow this guy wasn't going to stop me <laughs> money don't jiggle jiggle Hey stop! <laughs> First question, did you face any racism? Actually I think we didn't face any racism No, we just should. someone called me a faggot Oh yeah, like this But it was to do with race I Yeah, guess. it wasn't to do with race it's Yeah, like, then I was like looking at my finger I was like I'm married though. <laughs> <laughs> How am I a faggot? Yeah, because like the homeless guy was like asking for money la, basically. Yeah. Then I think we walked. Yeah, I just ignore oh, him. Yeah. La, faggot. Yeah, yeah, they were like, okay. okay. That's in NYC. I was so affected for like oh, wow, right. five seconds. Uh, <laughs> okay, so next question. Did it feel safe? Depends where we are talking about because I think in LA and NYC, you will definitely feel less safe as compared to like outskirts where it's like Joshua Tree. Santa Barbara was okay too, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I it was, depends. I felt not very safe in Joshua Tree though. Really? Yeah, I scared got freaking rattlesnakes and scorpions. That's and a and different stuff. kind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think the most unsafe I felt was probably uh, NYC, I feel. Huh? Really? Not downtown LA, man? Oh, downtown LA. <laughs> oh my god. I was like shook because it was really dirty. Like, not kidding, it was really quite dirty. I don't know, maybe because we were in LA during the weekend. So it was a little bit more like crazy. <coughs> very noisy and it kind of like doesn't have the charm that you think that it would because it's LA right like everyone's like mm, LA but it's just not as basically charming. expectations then yeah. she went there it's like actually it's like that then her expectation is like that yeah, yeah. Melrose does feel a bit like to be street la I guess mm. and then when you go to Rodeo Drive it's nice and there's like a lot of like brands really like high class brands and stuff but I tell you the people there everywhere they're driving like sports yeah. cars of mine, I really don't like it when cars are noisy. Like, I get so irritated mm. and I get very like... He is a, she's a proponent for electric vehicles. Yeah. Except for blue ash, she's a... Okay, but honestly, that's cute, <laughs> <what>, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just don't like it when they like... Vroom, 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 vroom. Personally, I didn't really enjoy LA, but I feel that, yeah, maybe it's a preference thing. Uh. Is it worth to buy high-end brands at US? No, mm. not at all. Nope. Um, nope. actually, if you look at like Gucci, LV, all these, I'm assuming that's what you mean by high-end brands are. They are actually more expensive than Except the, the US brands you can buy. Yeah, okay, depends, depends, yeah. yeah. Because the shoe that I bought was also very expensive. Remember, uh, US has tax and you don't get tax refund. Yeah, even if you are like traveling, you don't get tax refund. So a lot of things are actually more expensive. So than that's why a lot of people go to Portland. Yeah. Cause they got low text. Yeah, I mean unless you buy like Tommy Hilfiger or like a Polo Ralph uh, Lauren. Your Tory Burch coach Tory Birch is very coach. cheap yes, yes. there. Kate Spade. Kate Spade is cheap. Yeah, if you are interested in these kind of brands then yes definitely yeah. worth it. But if you are interested in like the Dior, Gucci, nope. no. Don't buy it in US, it's not only yes. at all. Okay, how is tipping culture like? Do we tip for every single thing including takeouts and taxis? We usually don't tip for takeouts because they, didn't serve they us don't the really movie. serve us yeah. la. Yeah, but sometimes I do. But usually it's you tip a about like 15% la, yeah. usually. It is so quite a lot. Confirm must tip right is like usually if you sit down restaurant. and eat in a restaurant. They will charge your card first for the mm. normal amount. Then they give you a receipt and the thing to sign. But when you sign, then you can put the tip amount then they will charge the tip amount. Uh, do you think it's child friendly? I would think it's okay. I mean it's okay unless 
Yeah. Depends where you go lah, right? They smell a lot of weed lah. Oh yeah, it smell quite a lot smell of weed. Quite a lot. How was the homeless situation in SF? We didn't really go to SF though. The last time we went, back in 2019, it was quite bad. But, but apparently it's worse now, so... Yeah, I think uh, if you're talking about the places we went, uh, NYC and LA, like the cities, are quite yeah. bad. Uh, okay. Is it safe to travel alone as a female? Personally, I wouldn't feel that safe. Even our friend uh, in Santa Barbara was us, right? Like, her friend got jumped. Oh yes, yeah, yes. So it's a so bit scary. Night. Yeah, at night she at night especially bring la. out her two huge dogs. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a dog, it's okay. Yeah. But you must always have a dog with you, which if you're but traveling. But I think in NYC is fine. Yeah, maybe because got nightlife. NYC is okay because got a lot of people and Jula. it never ends. But in the subway, maybe not in the subway. Yeah, subway is quite scary. Even for a guy, a big guy. We are feeling quite scared la, to be honest. Okay, if you wanna find out how much I got my Nike dunks and where I got it from, you can go and watch the video. Shopping in LA. Is it easy to travel along USA? Any racism or robbers? Uh, not that we actually But we got here la. La. Yeah, but we are very careful, I think, in general. Mm. Like, whenever we are traveling, right, we are not the kind that will, like, careless or, like, hey, put this here and then just leave it, that kind of thing. In general, I think nothing happened mm. so far, la, yeah. How long is the flight? Okay, the flight from Singapore to JFK, which is New York, is 18 hours. 18. Let's talk COVID about my COVID experience where I got COVID on the plane. Literally, before before that, I had a little bit of sore throat and then 2 hours into the flight, I got fever, I got body aches and then I vomited. Right before the flight, she was okay, okay. Yeah, I was okay, like still okay. can sleep, still can like, you know, chill. But after that, it just got worse and worse from there and then they still delay the flight. <laughs> what? Ah! I was sleeping so nice then. The, the, the next time I wake up, I was 9 hours left. Ah, half the flight yeah, then I stopped watching. Like, Every single time I woke up, right, I think, oh yeah, at least 2 hours past, hey, 30 very, minutes only. But very caring, I give up below. How do you plan or know what to do? Um, I think it's just based on research law. And I said, lah. She plan? <laughs> very I'll tell funny. Him, I'll tell you, I want to go for this place, this place, this place. She sent me a list of places that are all over the place that is super outside of my, the territory. Oh, then I said I want to go to Joshua Tree because Joshua Tree was really like something that I really, really wanted to So we drove like, what, 3 4 hours. Yeah. How was the driving experience? A long Oh, it it's easy? quite nice. Yeah, it's easy. It was very nice. Honestly, guys, as I told my friend, at least one day in your life, if you can afford it, rent a convertible to drive at the Big Sur. It's so nice. Yeah, then nice. you play like jungle. That Heavy California. That was like, wow, really California. We're gonna add the videos. We're gonna add the videos. Okay. Okay. But honestly, the roads in US are like not very well maintained. Uh, yeah. So it's a bit like you need to like control mm. a bit. Yeah. Uh, MIC must do and must eat. I don't know about must eat. Must do is Broadway. Yes. Oh really my god. Must we watched Lion King. It was the best Super. ever. Okay, I don't agree that the pizza is nice. What's that? Grimaldi's. Uh, yeah, I feel like Grimaldi's is quite overrated. She really prefers the dollar. Pizza. Yeah, but, but it's no longer no nice because <laughs> it's inflation. But I heard Joe's is really very good. Remember we passed by Joe's on Oh yeah, the and queue like very but long. We like, and okay, so another must do, I think in my opinion, is the... Circle line. Uh, yeah. So there's this boat thing. So some people go the Staten Islands Ferry, they go to like Statue of Liberty. But honestly, I, according to my wife's wisdom, is if you are at the place, you can't see the place. Yeah, like if you were on the island with a Statue of Liberty, right, you'll be seeing her backside. Because Statue of Liberty is actually facing the water side, but it doesn't make sense to mm -hmm. be on the island behind her, right? Mm. Yeah. So there's this like sightseeing ferry mm. called a Circle Line. You don't get off the boat one. So you go on the boat, then they have a, like a tour How guide. How many hours was there? Two hours? It was like two hours, but it's very nice. We, very nice. we chose the one that's sunset. Harbour Lights. It's the sunset one. And we will reach the Statue of Liberty like during sunset. Yeah, so and nice. it's really very nice. The sunset is like... Yeah, I mean, if you like jazz, then you have to go... Oh, jazz bar. Jazz. The Met Museum. Do you like the Met Museum? Not bad. Yeah. She's not even touching her ass. I Actually, think, I think the Natural History Museum very nice. When you see, you think that it won't look as realistic, but then mm -hmm, the but animals really... inside really look so realistic. Okay, which website to go to book accommodation, rental cars, etc. Okay, we book our accommodations on Airbnb, but we also had like friends and relatives that really like very very kind, like Denise and my cousin. 
who took us in and I think those were the parts of the trip that we really enjoyed. When we rent car, we rent it from rental cars because we have like this SIA right. So when you book SIA, they'll ask you book your cars on rental car. Use the rentalcars.com to book the car. Actually, it's like slightly cheaper. I did it for Germany also. Mm. It's slightly cheaper than if you go Personally, on to like right? Avis and mm. all that. But there's this app called Turo in US that actually you can rent like all the different sorts of cars. So it's a bit like an Airbnb but for like cars. So uh, people were asking us like how much we spend or like how much is the trip. Uh, let's say like without shopping and what we spend on. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna give you guys a rough breakdown. So at that point in time, our flights like to and fro JFK for two people was five thousand mm. dollars. Okay. Then there is the domestic flight. Yeah. So we flew from JFK yeah. to uh, SF, and there's also the flight from LA to NYC, right? Yeah. If it is great up, it would have been total a thousand dollars, excluding baggage. Yeah. Twelve nights accommodation. of accommodations would be about about five thousand dollars, now. Yeah. yeah, it's not very cheap it's because cheap. Uh, of inflation and everything. And I think the best is you go in a bigger group because yeah. the last time when we went with your parents, it's it like much cheaper. much cheaper. It's like a per pax, like less than hundred bucks. But now it's like hundred plus two hundred. Okay, but we did spend quite a bit on one night in NYC because of this like very nice. You would have watched the vlog, but if you haven't, you can click here to know mm. our genuine reviews. Cause we actually paid for it. We got the car for like a yeah. thousand bucks for one week, but then we upgraded it so we come like thousand five. We upgraded it to Mustang, so a thousand five. Thousand five for seven days. Seven days. Yeah. yeah. Okay, then you need to pay for a visa, which is about thirty eight dollars. Yeah. And then if you pay for like all the NYC stuff, so when you go to NYC, if you want to see all the main attractions, you should get this thing called the New York yeah. Pass, the New York City Pass. It's about like hundred plus bucks. But then you get a uh, natural history museum, you get to go to oh, the rock, the State Building, Guggenheim, you get also the Circle Line Cruises. So it's very worth it. Uh, the New York City Pass costs $355. For two. For two. Uh, then we also went to Paramount Studios, which is in LA. Yeah. Paramount Studios was $143 in LA. Lion King's Play for two was $450. One, but that's food. because so food plus shopping we spend 9.4k in total we spend about 24k on this trip maybe this will give you kind of like a good estimation of like how much you will spend okay like we are like quite a middle spender we didn't spend a lot a lot but yeah i think that is already i think this trend is getting quite long i hope you guys enjoyed um, all the vlogs and us answering you guys' questions mm. and i hope this actually helped as well please do like subscribe and turn the post notifications so you don't miss an upload that yes, is like. all from us today we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye go and eat